Um, so before we do anything, I'm going to go over the materials that you should have. Okay. The first thing that's super important is you need a background to build your game on. So you could use a thick poster board, like a foam board, or I just used a, a box and I made it flat. Now, some of you, it might be this big. Some of you might be this big. It doesn't really matter. It's just the ones with a small board will have a small game and the ones with a big board will have a big game. Okay, so that's one. So it needs to be like thicker than paper, right, Ash? Right, because if it's the thin poster board, the, the papery kind, it's just gonna flop off the wall. Like I just have it leaned against the wall. It's not stuck on there, but it's strong enough to stand up on its own. Cool? Got it. Then you need some cups and they need to be like throwaway cups that are like light. So not like a drinking glass, just some paper or plastic cups and they can be small or big or tiny or whatever. doesn't matter. So styrofoam's cool also, whatever. but nothing that like yeah. is heavy. Not, right. Not like a coffee mug or um, a glass from your kitchen. You just want like a throwaway cup. Um, well, not throw away. We're, we're recycling right now. We're reusing. So we're reusing. Is it okay? Like cycle. if I've already like had a sip from the cup? Sure. Um, then you need a pair of scissors. If you don't have one, go get one, go get a pair of scissors. You need, um, some paper, just regular old computer paper, or it could be colored paper if you prefer, but just some scratch paper. Then you need um, something to decorate with. So I have markers, but you can have crayons or Sharpies or even just pencil. So some sort of decorative art materials. And then only two more things. You need some tape. I didn't know which kind would hold up the cup well, so I brought a bunch. I love that, Ashley. But whatever you have in your house, you'll make do. If you only have scotch tape, you'll probably just have to use a lot of it. Um, then the last thing you need, which I completely forgot about and didn't have, you need a ball you, to be the basketball, right? Duh. I didn't have one. I didn't have a little ping pong ball. So you know what? I made one. I made one out of tinfoil and I made a different one out of Play-Doh. So creative. And then I was thinking you could also use maybe a marble or you could use um, a pom pom or um, anything just small and round. And if you don't have it, make it. You could roll up a bunch of tape or rubber bands and make a little ball. Cool. Does, if you are missing any of those materials, go now and go get it and come back. And then we're going to begin. Morgan. Everyone's is, very excited, by the way, to show you every time you say they're something, doing they're like showing <laughs> us exactly what they have. I love it. Um, Morgan is going to show you guys a picture of an example of what we're going to create. Ours is not going to look exactly like that, but just so you kind of get an idea of the type of game we're going for. Are you ready? We're ready. Do we see it? Give me mm -hmm. a thumbs up if we see it. Cool. So notice the cups have become the hoop and then the, um, you have to make a little backboard too. And this person added numbers for points. So you can choose to do that too. Okay, Morgan, take, take it off. Got it. So kind of like ski ball, kind of like basketball, Mixed. kind of a combo, yeah. and you yeah. can get creative. Totally. So the first thing you're going to do, oh, did you have a question? No, no. Okay. I'm the, fir the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half. So you have a half a piece of paper. Super easy. Fold it in half and make a nice crease. They want to know how many papers we need overall like two or maybe three. And yes, you can use a marble, but just be aware that when you're tossing the marble, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. 
So something a little bit lighter, like a bouncy ball maybe, or like you make your own out of tinfoil like Ashley did would be awesome because when you toss it in, you don't want, you know, you want it to land okay. in the cup. So we fold it in half. Now we're going to fold it in half again, but we're not going to fold it this way that you would think. We're going to fold it this way so it's skinny. So the hot dog way. Right. So you want it to be like about this size. Cool? Cool. Crease it good so it's flat. Okay. Fold it in okay. half, fold it in half again the long ways, the hot dog way. Yeah. Yeah. About this big. Then you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to tape it to the top middle of your board because that's where we're going to write the name of the game later. I'm going to give you plenty of time to think about what you want to call your game. So all you're going to do now is just tape it on there. So I'm going to take a little bit of my masking tape. And go like this and tape it right on there. Did you do the like loopy kind of tape? Totally. You could do it this way where you take it and the sticky sides on the outside, you roll it into a, a loop and put it underneath if you want it to be invisible. It's up to you. I don't really care. I just threw it on there. Haley is doing the project and she looks like she's in outer space. So whenever she puts something behind her, I, we can't even see it. <laughs> I love the digital backgrounds. I wish oh. I could have digital art camp behind me. Some, some of the kids do that. They like put the, they put the logo and then it's not flying behind them. Okay. So well, you I think our friend Lisa might have a question, Ash. Sure. What's up? Go ahead, Lisa. Is this board big enough? How big are your cups? Yeah, but you're probably only going to be able to fit maybe two on there. Or some, like this one, I could probably fit five. But it'll just be a littler game. So maybe at the top where we did this, EJ, at the top where we did this, maybe just make that smaller on yours. Do everything smaller so it fits. Oh, it's EJ. Yeah. Sorry. Right? Isn't your name EJ? Yes. See, we Ashley know knows. We it's know them all. It's a game where you like turn around. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cool. So once we put it on there, that's the first step. Super okay. easy. The next step, you're going to get your second piece of paper and you're going to do this. You're going to fold it in half again. So fold it in half. But this time, you're not going to fold it in half the same way. You're going to fold it so it makes four squares. That the hamburger way. way. Yeah. So I'll do it again. Fold it down and then fold it over. Okay. Folding paper. Uh-huh. We're good at this. We do this on a lot of projects. <laughs> totally. Okay. So you got it about this size. So now there's like four quadrants. Right. And they're kind of like the size of like, say an index card ish. Right. Around that size. Yeah. Um, Morgan, your, your video disappeared. Um, it's coming. So, we're, we're buffering over here. Okay. <laughs> so now you're going to you get four little pieces. So you're just going to cut along your creases. Unfold it and cut it. So easy. So easy. And if you were here the day that we did um, kindness superhero cards, this is the same thing that you did. You want the same size as those cards. So you should end up with four of these. Now, if you have a smaller board like EJ's, maybe you want to cut it in half again. Like these are going to be the backboard. You remember how in the picture it had like the board and then the cup? Do you want me to show it one more time? No, it's okay. Okay. Like that. So if you, if you want to make it smaller than this, you totally can. But this would probably be the biggest. So I'm How gonna, do I make it smaller? Do I fold it again and cut it? Yeah. Or I'm just cutting it down a little tiny bit for mine. Because I just want to give a little bit of a trim. Okay. A little trim. I think I need a little trim, Ash. I know. All of us with our quarantine hair, right? <laughs> okay. So whatever size you decide on, you want all four pieces to be the same as it. So cut them all. If you trimmed it, trim them all so that you're ready to go. Okay. Let me know when you're ready for the next step.
four pieces. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you have a giant board and you want to do a fifth piece, like if you think you can fit five cups on there, then go ahead and do that same step again so that you have one more backboard. I think I can only fit four on mine. So I'm going to do like three or four, but you decide. Okay. Now, the next step is a thinking step. So before you actually do anything, you're going to think about where you're going to place these cups. How many are you going to go across? How many are you going to go down? Are you going to do one in the middle or just the four corners? It's up to you. Okay. I played a game before, Ashley, where like the cups were on top and the cups were on the bottom. And when I tried to shoot it in the bottom cup, I couldn't get it in because the top one was right over. Too close, right? Yeah. But maybe if you have room like that, that's okay. So you got to kind of figure it out. So what I'm going to do with mine, Morgan, because I don't want that same thing to happen, I think I'm going to put two on the top outside and one middle bottom. So I think I'm going to do three. That's what I'm going to do. I love that. So once you figure out your configuration, because everyone has a different, you know, size. Right. right. And, and they're all super smart and they're going to just figure it out. I love Piper's working very di diligently to like organize the thing. Hold on. Delilah says to please go slower. That was a little oh. while ago. I okay. think she's caught up. Okay. Candace says repeat. Do I need to repeat? I think you're good. Okay. All we've done is put that piece of paper on there. And that's it. <laughs> we fold, well, well, we folded it the hot dog way. And yeah, we, we cut up our paper. other paper the hamburger way and cut it up. True. And True. now we're just we're just thinking, thinking about how we want to create our game. And you know what? Like we're not putting anything on yet, right, Ash? So we can like configure it and look at it. Mm -hmm. And if we're like, mm, we can move it around. Mm -hmm. That's what I see Piper doing. What are you thinking about over there, Pipe? Um, no, I'm just trying to see what would work best because I'm trying to see if I have enough room to do four or five. Exactly. So play with it a little bit. And then once you decide, Piper, you're going to put some tape on your um, first piece of paper, your backboard. Okay. Or you could do the rolly and stick it on the back and stick it wherever you want it to go. So I want mine to go right there. And then I'm going to do my, ne my next ones. So stick your little backboards on there, wherever you want. And remember the things we talked about. You want them to be far enough apart so that when, like, they are not smashed on top of each other. So stagger them or, you know. Staggering. Mm -hmm. I remember staggering from being a dancer, like every other spot, like where you have a, a hole so that people, you know, can see you in the audience. Or a window if you're a theater person. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not just going to do one piece of tape. I'm going to do a whole border all the way around so that it looks like a real backboard. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I just had an aha moment, Ash, because you're doing that as kind of like a border, like a real backboard. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could like decorate like the bad. The yeah. Or if you had like um, washi tape that has designs on it, you could use that too, if you like that look. Um, or totally, Morgan, you could take, like later, not now, you could take a marker and like draw on, on the tape. I did find this blue tape and I kind of want to use it because I think it might look pretty. So I'm going to do that. I love how creative you're being, Ash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Using all the things you have at home. Yeah. And here's the thing. This box right here. And like it just would have been trash or recycling. And now it's a project and a game. So it didn't even cost money. Like I just had it in my house. I love that. I also I'm thinking about, you know, who in my house I can challenge oh, so yeah. after I make it and I practice. Mm -hmm. You can have games. How are they doing? Do We're working. Questions? Everyone's just working. We're working very diligently. Great. I love that. 
Oh, some friends have already. Wow. Well, we're moving on. But if you want to move on, that's on you. I'm following Ashley's steps. Haley, let me see what's happening over there. Tell I, us about I, your project. I, my dad is going into my shed to get some washi tapes that can decorate my squares. Perfect. That looks great. Now, if you're someone that moves quickly and is ready for the next step, I'm going to describe it. If you're someone that's taking your time and needs more time, that's cool. Just look up for a minute, see the next step, and do it when you're ready because it's real easy. You're just going to stick your cup underneath each backboard. And the easiest way to do this... Hold on one second, Ash. Friends that are working, just... Stop for a second. Just look so up. You can hear what's happening. You can continue in just a moment, but she wants to explain if you're ready to move on. Go for it. Great. The easiest way to do this is to take a long piece of tape. Long, okay? Stick it on the outside of the cup. Put the cup right in the middle of the tape so that it has two arms, like that. And then that way you can stick it right. Oops, I did it too high. Right to the board. So you want it to be like towards Hugging. the, you know, bottom third of the paper, right? Mm -hmm. And you might have to use a couple pieces of tape so that when you throw the ball in there, it doesn't just fall off. Okay. You guys do yours. Isla, yours has um, a hole at the bottom, which is cool so that it falls through if that's what you want. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. They don't have to have holes at the bottom. The whole idea is to throw it into the basket and then you'll retrieve it later. But if you want holes, that's okay. Oh, she cut a hole in the bottom of the cup? Yeah, Isla, show us again. I love that idea. So it goes through like a, it's like a hoop. Kind of like an actual basketball. That's a great idea. But I if you have another one underneath, it's gonna go through both of them. Double points. I've made mine like this, so one of them is down and two of them are up. Cool. My cups, I can't cut the bottom because they're plastic, but it looks like you have styrofoam cups, so it might be easier. Yeah. I can't cut the bottom of mine because, like, I would have to jab a scissor in there, and I feel like that's dangerous. So I'm just going to stick it on, but I love that. I love It's very creative. Everyone's doing good. Everyone is very hard at work. Great. I'm going to stick one more on here. Hiya. Hiya. <gasps> Delilah, look at what's happening over there. Hold on, let me unmute you. Uh, well, I just put it here. This cup is 100 points, and this cup is 50 points. This cup is 40 points, and that cup is 20 points. Great. So that's amazing. So what I'm doing now is I'm literally taking the ball and I'm just testing it like from really close and dropping it in and making sure that these are stuck on enough. So you might want to test it so that, you know, if you throw it in, it's too heavy, it's just going to fall off. Right. So maybe you need a smaller ball or maybe you need a lighter ball or maybe you need more tape, right? Like you got to test it. Yeah. Coop, I saw you over there. You're trying to show us. Hold on, let me unmute you. Go ahead. If my cups don't have holes, it's hard to get the ball out. <laughs> what kind of ball are you using? Um, since we had to go to the store to make the other one, we had like 12 ping pong balls, so we have an extra one. Right. Wonderful. Okay. Ooh, my ball almost needs water. Tiny ball. Holy guacamole. Okay, Devin. Tell us about your project. This one's 10, that's 100, that's 1,000. Love it. So that's- I couldn't get a fourth one, but the way to stand it is like this. Great, love it. 
Does it lean against something? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mine too. On the chair across me, I like put it down and the cups are like on the table and, and I tried to shoot one for a hundred and it was like oh, and in between a thousand and a hundred. <laughs> oh man, keep trying. So Devin did the next step, which you guys can all do. She assigned um, points. So you could do like in basketball, it's usually two points. Um, but, or you could have one be like a three pointer. Um, but you could also do like 10, 20, 100. You could do five, 10, 15, whatever you want. So I'm going to do this one up here is going to be 10 points. This one over here is also going to be 10 points. Oh, I have an idea. I have a funny, silly art camp idea. What's up? What if we made this game for art camp and we did like silly challenges? So if they made it in a thing, they had to like jump up and down and, yeah. you know, uh, or, or they had to chug a juice or they okay, had to, on. you know. I'm adding it on. So do if you like get it, 10 jumping jacks or something. Okay. I got, I got you, boo. Jumping jack. So if they hit 10, they have to do 10 jumping jacks. Or if they have to like blow up a balloon and tie it and then sit on it and pop it, like silly art kick games we yeah. always do. If they get it in the 20, they have to tell a joke. If they get it in this 10, they have to um, do a silly dance. I love that idea. Like the spinning wheel, remember, Ash? Yeah, so good. Um, and then Morgan, you can also do the title of your name. I mean, of your, bleh. you can name the game if you have figured out what you want to call it. So it could literally be called like Ashley's basketball game, or it could be whatever you come up with. So I'm going to title this Ashley's mini basketball challenge. Woohoo! Woohoo! I think I would probably call mine like Happy Hoops, like Hungry Hungry sure. Hipper. Anything you want. Does anyone else have a cool name for their project? Mm. Oh, okay. Hold on. EJ has got a name. Doom Ball. Ooh, Doom Ball. Doom, Doom Ball or Zoom Ball? Doom. 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 <laughs> That's funny. Anyone else want to share the name? Let us know when you think of it. Type it in oh. the chat. Go ahead, Delilah. Um, poppers. Poopers, I mean. Cool. Poopers. And then we only have one more step. Whenever you guys are ready, Squick. let me know. Yeah. We can play a couple times, too. Yeah. But we only have one more step. If you guys want to know the last step, give me a thumbs up. You know what you up. were saying, Ash? You were saying about like two points or three points. Mm -hmm. You know, and in basketball, the three pointer is usually further away. So maybe yeah, it it's be not like, about where the cups are. Maybe it's like how far you're standing. And oh, maybe you, in. yeah, you could set up like put a little piece of tape on the floor, and if you shoot from this point, you get two points, and this point, you get three points. That's a good idea. Yeah, you could really get very creative with this. The last step, Morgan, yeah, is just to decorate. So we have all our art supplies and like my, this box is pretty ugly. So I'm gonna decorate, I'm gonna take it down so it's flat in front of me and I'm gonna kind of draw designs on the background or like Haley was saying on the tape, just to make it look cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna work on mine and you guys work on yours. I'm gonna grab some crayons too. Hold please. And they can show us theirs if they want, or we can, and then we could play all together. I love that idea. Marissa, how are you doing over there? Doing good? Yeah. Great. Everyone looks so hard at work and they're being so creative. This is 
awesome. This is why I love, I love this stuff. It looks like Savvy, Zoe, and Madsy are already playing. What's happening over there, girls? Who's winning? Yeah. They have a third. Um, I don't know. I don't know when you guys got to... What's happening? We're setting it up. Awesome. Did you make one together or did you all make separate ones? Uh, we made one together. Love it. That should work. I'm just I'm gonna writing. Put it right next to the 150. Let's see what else is in here. You should put it on the 150. No, like we should put it like next to it. How about world's greatest? Right here. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. World's greatest? <laughs> or... I'm going to leave this like this. No, that's oh, another trophy. Oh, can I we should no. We should put. I have a good idea for this one. You can use this trophy. The stars are good. Huh? The stars. I'm like watching a TV show. <laughs> I love how like it, I love how you guys are working so nicely together, and you're just discussing things and deciding. Yeah, yeah. teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. EJ's raising his hand. Hold on. Go good. for it. How's Doom oh, Ball? I put a hundred and ten points. Ten points is if you get ten points, then you have to do ten more throws. If you if you get a hundred points, you get to do whatever you want, and I want to get a hundred points. Awesome! That sounds like a lot of fun. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> like so funny. Here, Morgan, I'll show you. I started coloring mine a little bit. The back the backdrops. Oh, it looks so nice. to do the brown the brown parts i'm just gonna like make designs and like you know color because that's how we roll wow milo look at milo's oh they're talking about yours yeah milo, wow about project over there i don't want that policy that this way is because if you do each one different it's fair that you don't get the shape. Amazing. You need to get each cup to win up the win. That's how you win Milo's pinball. That's the name of it. Milo's pinball, that's the name of your project? Yeah. But uh, now we need uh -huh. So, bye-bye. Bye, Milo. Bye-bye. <laughs> Milo's Devin's, pinball. Devin's raising her hand, Ash. Go ahead, Devin. What's up? Number 10, I wrote, tell 10 jokes. The person who makes it in here has to tell 10 jokes. Oh, man, I don't even think I know tell 10 jokes. You have to dance on the floor. Oh, how funny. So fun. Ash, I wish I could shoot my ball all the way over to your house, all the way, and land it in one of those cups. Totally. But I had an idea. Mm -hmm. Why don't we, if they um, are done with theirs, we could maybe all play at the same time. Like we'll go one, two, three, and then you, everybody shoots it and see if anybody is able to get one. I love that idea. Should we try? I don't know if they're ready or not. Some friends are still very much working and some friends are totally. just hanging and waiting. Hi, Blythe. <laughs> um, Morgan, tomorrow we have something special happening on Zoom with our friend Nicole. She's doing a spa party, um, and the kids are going to make face scrubs and lip gloss and spa water, and it's going to be very relaxing and, and calming. And you know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. Even if you're someone, <coughs> excuse me, who like maybe doesn't really want a face scrub, like maybe that's not your thing, it makes an excellent gift. 
So, and like, it was just Mother's Day. So like, you could make it for your mom or like, if it, there's a birthday party coming up or whatever, or your teacher makes a great gift. I love that. Even though I gave my mom something and I like celebrated her on Mother's Day, like it's always nice, like on a random Tuesday to say, Celebrate. hey mom, I love you. Yeah. And give her a little something. Or you want to know a real trick? One of the campers taught me this like a bunch of years ago. We were making a ceramics project, like a project out of clay and they were making flowers. And it was like this teen boy, like 12 year old boy named Jacob. And I was like, hey, so do you like your flower project? And he looked at me and went, no. And he's like, I like making it, but like, I don't want it. And I was like, okay, well, what are you going to do with it? Like, let's brainstorm. And he said, well, I'm going to hide it under my bed. So the next time I get in trouble, I can give it to my mommy. And she won't be mad at me. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever Brilliant. heard. Sometimes yeah. you need to pull something like out <laughs> of the woodworks to be like, I love you so much. I'm so sorry that, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't listen. Right. Here's a flower pot. And because then mommies, mommies love flowers, right? I thought it was so funny. All right, everyone, you want to play around? We're so ready. Get the ball. Okay. Set, everyone set, set yourself up. up if you're ready. Set Ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 dun. Children of all dun. ages. <laughs> Welcome to the first annual, annual? All right. For sure. Art camp hoops party. Okay. We're gonna count, we're gonna count them down. We're gonna three, two, one, and shoot. And let's see if you if you're actually you're able to get it. So if you hit the buzzer beater, back yourself up a little bit. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, that's okay. Try to get it, Ash. It's about practice. You got it. I got it. Did you guys get it? Do it again, Ash. Oh, again. I believe in I'm going to try for this one. Three, two, one. Yes. So fun. It's like what we used to do at camp where we reach for the spirit and we bring it down and we say, yes. Well, this was so fun, you guys. I hope you guys had fun. These are the best amazing. time. This is it, awesome. Such an awesome project. I'm going to unmute everyone so that we can say thank you and we can say how much fun we had with you, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow for the spa party. Thanks for joining us. Ashley, thank you so much. That was awesome. It was so fun. Bye. Bye.